All right, I call the regular meeting of the Milliken Board of Trustees for January 9th, 2019 to order. Would everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, America, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. It's very nice to see everyone after the holidays. So at this point, will the town clerk please call roll? Yes, ma'am. Trustee Smith? Here. Trustee Ehrlich? Here. Trustee Wakeman? Here. Trustee Burak? Here. Trustee Trailer? Here. Mayor Pro Tem Austin? Here. And Mayor Woodcock is absent. All right, at this point, do we have any additions or deletions on the agenda? Yes, I'd like to add 9B on the action agenda as a proposal, a proposal from CVI Consultants. Okay. Take it. Anything else to be added? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries. Uh, do we have any citizens comments today? Anybody that wants to address the board? No? We'll just skip right over that and go right to the uh, minute uh, meeting of the, oh, that seems so long ago, it was December 18th, 18. 2018. Do we have any changes or are the meeting minutes acceptable? Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. All righty. On the consent agenda, I'll consider a motion to approve the consent agenda. Do we want to you do skip the manager report? report? No. Tim had told me he wanted to move that to the end. Okay. Yeah, I should have made a, a, a proposal to move that under changing to move that to the end of the agenda. After you guys get your business done, I'll give a report. Sorry, I had okay. inside information. All righty. On the consent agenda. Uh, take a motion to approve. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> motion carried. Moving <coughs> into action agenda item 9A, consideration and approval of resolution 1902, a commercial fiber internet contract. I believe that's okay. town administrator. Um, as we talked a little bit about in the work session, you've been given two uh, possible contracts from the two possible sources that provide broadband internet services in the area. Um, the town of Milliken has an IT uh, specialist who has done the research and his research found that we can move to TDS at $90 a month less, at 250% the bandwidth. Um, and after verification with all department heads and with the police department, it's uh, my suggestion to the board to consider going to the TDS proposal that's in your package. Uh, we also have for further consideration um, the works department and the board has the ability to proceed with connecting the works department at this time for one building or to hold off and bring that back at a later date. Okay. I need a legal opinion on that. I think our contract is just for town hall and the police department, the contract that's in their packet. But they did have an amend, an addendum to that for the works department. So would that be a, an appropriate motion of the board for that addendum? To include the addendum, yes. Okay. Um, I do have a uh, bill with the works department here to uh, question if you have any questions of his uh, uh, 
feelings for having a fiber optics cable at works department. Okay, thank you. Uh, board members, any questions, concerns, or comments? I think outstanding is that only uh, the concern that was raised, that I raised earlier about paying 50% of the unpaid balance of the base rate, mm -hmm. if we cancel due to uh, non-performance of uh, TDS. So I'd like to explore that. Yeah, we will be seeking amendments to that form contract that's in the board packets. Okay. There are a few provisions in there that will need revisions to ah. among those. So we will definitely bring that one up as well. Okay. Is this um, service available immediately for us or is there some installation time? The time for switching over is about 60 to 90 days. During that period of time, since our other contract ha would terminate uh, at the end of this month, uh, we would go to a month-to-month -month contract with them, and that's in the provisions of the contract that we're already operating under. Any other questions? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make the motion we approve resolution 19 2 with the addendum provision included. We'll go with TDS broadband for our commercial internet service. Second. Town Clerk, can you please uh, give a roll call? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Trustee Smith? Yes. <clears throat> Trustee Trailer? Yes. Trustee Burak? Yes. Trustee Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Austin? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. I would also, sorry. Oh, go ahead. I would also like to uh, reiterate that I would like to see us explore um, uh, better <coughs> service for our community through uh, TDS and maybe even CenturyLink, both, whatever's appropriate for us to um, talk to them about improving service to, to our community. Thank you. Yes, I agree. Okay. All right. I'll yes. have that uh, something back out to you for that. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Moving on to item 9B, we have an emergency proposal from <coughs> CVI consultants for the design portions of County Road 46. Uh, it is an emergency because Dola just made us aware today. Uh, that this is a requirement of the grant that we seek. So at this point, I will turn this over to uh, Town Administrator Singwall. Um, we had a meeting with DOLA. They wanted us to be more uh, shovel ready for the project. Uh, we met with uh, Don Sandoval and a couple of his associates. Um, we had uh, Leonard. Uh, in the room and I don't know if he was still acting administrator or I at that time. Uh, however, this is one of the projects that Leonard had agreed to see to conclusion and help with. Um, he made a call to uh, John Vasquez who he got a verbal bid from of about 100000 but he didn't have the time to do the project. Um, there was another person contacted uh, east of us who just did not have the time to consider the project or come in to uh, even look at doing a bid. This project would be kind of an, an emergency situation to get the paperwork for DOLA by their decision making uh, time for their grant process. And um, we came up with, Leonard found a company, 
that was by reference to another group that he knew that said they'd do a great job. They came in, they said that they could do it, they could get it done in time. Uh, works manager um, Bill Landwer uh, went and met and looked at the proposal and I've got the proposal with me that we shared at the work session and Bill was agreeable that it would satisfy the 60% required um, plans for, for bid. And that deadline is 2-9? 2 So it's something that we'd have to move on right away if we want to um, have a chance at the grant that you guys worked on for, for a while now on that uh, 46 project. Um, in the future, something like this, I will strive to make sure that we don't have deadlines uh, that come up and catch us off guard. We'll try and have all those things done for the board ahead of time and uh, made note of when we're in the bid process. Thank you. Questions, concerns, or comments? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. I move that we accept the proposal from CBI consultants for professional engineering services for the design of portions of County Road 46 and authorize the town administrator to execute a professional services agreement in a form approved by the town attorney in an amount not to exceed $96,500. Second. Town clerk, may we call for a vote? I'm sorry, does that put the draft up there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <coughs> <laughs> Trustee Wickman? Yes. I buried it. Trustee Irwin? Yes. Trustee Trailer? Yes. Trustee Bureau? Yes. Trustee Smith? Yes. Mayor Post Ten Austin? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. Okay. At this portion of the meeting, we will turn it over to our town clerk for some discussion uh, items regarding the Planning Commission. Yes, ma'am. In your packet, um, there are um, three um, applications for Planning Commission. Two are current members of the Planning Commission, Dave Watson and Dave Bernhardt, and they would like to reinstate their term um, on the Planning Commission. There is an additional person who has sent in an application um, that um, was a nice surprise because it's very difficult to find um, somebody who's willing to fill in or sit in on the planning commission. Um, we are down one member right now and that would fill the planning commission. So um, I just wanted your guidance on that and if acceptable to the board, I would swear in Dave Watson and Dave Bernhardt at the next planning commission meeting if acceptable, and um, if you would like to interview this gentleman um, that has uh, sent in his application, his name is Thomas Christian. Um, I would contact him and see when he'd be available to come and meet with the board. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What's Four their terms? Is that a three-year term? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. So um, I read Thomas Christian's uh, application. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems very well put together, well written, um, and takes an interest in the community. I, mm -hmm. I don't have any qualms with putting him on the planning commission. Do you? Mm -hmm. Anybody? No. I don't think we need to interview. Would you like me to contact him and to? Um, I know he checked a lot of boxes there, but one of them was the planning commission. I, I think my only question him. would be is we're supposed to have a joint meeting on the 30th. Would he be Correct. available for that? I can find that out. Okay. Because I think that would be a good time to meet him. 
I can certainly do so. Okay. Yes, this application just came in, so even the Planning Commission, which we have one member here tonight, does not even know about it. So <laughs> surprise. Okay. okay. Do they have a, a meeting before our joint meeting? I mm -hmm. believe so. Pepper? Mm -hmm. Next week. Yeah. Okay. Are you sending me soap smoke signals, Linda? Is there something I'm supposed to? No, are they appointing the members? Or? Um, two of them are current members that just um, like to reappoint, be reappointed. So yes, I guess that's what they're doing. Okay, so we don't need to take a vote? We do need to take a vote. Yeah. Oh, it was under discussion item. It was because I wasn't sure where you would be at on that if you wanted to have it as a motion. I just wanted you to have the information. Yeah. I think that we should entertain a motion. Okay. Can I ask a question? So yes. they are um, they're wanting to get back to the same position that they had before because I know one is like the that has to be voted on by the planning that's commission. That's by the commission. Correct. Okay. Okay. Who wants to venture into motion territory? Okay, <laughs> I move to approve David Bernhardt, David Watson, and Thomas Christian to um, be on the planning. Commission. And I get a second. Second. Okay. Uh, town clerk, can we call for a vote? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Um, Trustee Smith? Yes. Trustee Ehrlich? Yes. Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Trustee Burak? Yes. Trustee Trailer? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Austin? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to just make a quick announcement here that the Millican Events Committee will be meeting on uh, January 19th. We'll be setting the schedule for the year, and that will include a farmer's market this summer, a skate park event, hopefully in the spring. Our beef and bean day is already set, but we will be starting the high-level planning on that, trick-or-treat street, and the Festival of Lights. We will have a full schedule in 2019. Uh, when we get that set up, it will appear on our website, millicanevents.com, and the town website will have a link to our website so that everybody will know what the proposed dates are and contact for further information. Before we jump into the town administrator's report, I just wanted to check, did, did you want to address the board or anything? I noticed you came in just interested in hearing what we're doing. Well, thank you. Just wanted to check. Hey, Elizabeth. Yes. Um, is that an open meeting? The committee? The yes. Event it time? is. And where is that at? That's actually held at my house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> more than one board member show, more than two board members show up. We have to post it as a meeting. But you, okay. uh, right now, I'm the only one. So you're more than welcome to okay. come on over, see me after the meeting. Will do. Okay. Because I feed people Italian okay. dinner. Low okay. carb. No, that I will be eating it. Um, yeah, that's not low carb. No, I think so. <laughs> All righty, Town Administrator Sinjwal, um, would you like to give a report, please? Excuse me. A report. Your report. Your report. All right. Thank you. Um, we were just going over some additional comments about the CVL contract to make sure that we had it all in line here um, a lot of the things that I wanted to talk about in uh, the administrators report we covered in the work session but to make it a part of the record um, my plans are to have a written report uh, that will be in the board packet as a uh, a matter of record for the board packet that will be uh, kept so that there is record of what is happening in the town. People will see the progress that the town's making as the town goes forward with the projects that put are put in front of us by 
the, the board. Um, we have a joint meeting coming up with, uh, what's the acronym for the Defense Center? TRPR. TRPR. That'll be coming up. We also will be having a presentation by the Chamber of Commerce for Johnstown Millican. Um, we will have a reporter in the room from the paper uh, reporting on the progress of Millican and I believe her uh, intentions are to come to all the meetings and report on us and tell what a great job we're doing. <laughs> so uh, take a minute after the meeting and get to meet Angel who's here representing the paper and uh, trying to share some information with the people. Um, there's a number of things that I've got on my to-do list and uh, one that I hear a lot about is the heating situation in the different buildings. In here so far tonight I've gotten very hot and very cold and uh, the police department has told me that uh, it's just freezing in different parts of the police department. So we're working on trying to figure out what we need to do to get that resolved. I was told that a while back a proposal was put together for the town, but it was uh, a bit expensive. I'll be looking at what that is and see what I can come up to try and make things right or have several uh, quotes or bids for you on different ways to try and resolve the problems if we have inherent design problems that cannot be addressed. But we'll see what we can come up with. Okay. That's all I've got. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry? Thanks. <laughs> thank you. All right, well, I want to thank everybody for attending tonight. And so I'll take a motion to adjourn. Second. No, I didn't okay. make the motion. So I said I'll take one. <laughs> so Good. Moved. Okay. I agree. <laughs> All righty. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Adjourned at uh, 6.52. 6.52.